All right, I think you're gonna find this video very interesting. This is my restroom kit. I didn't really come up with any special name for it, so it's called the restroom kit. I came up with this idea when I was uh, uh, searching for water. That was my first year out when I was always searching for water to fill up my van back when my van was empty. I had no storage and all that stuff. But this still will come in handy because regardless of um, what kind of van setup you got, you got to put water in it at some point. Um, for me, obviously, you re watch my videos. I have a house to go to. I think you just find a friend, uh, make a girlfriend, boyfriend, or whatever, so you can get some some water and I have to be hassle to find it. But if you're in a situation where you got to hunt down water, basically you need to hunt down maybe two gallons a day. Now, back then I had no way to heat water, so I had to hunt down two gallons of hot water, which made it a little bit more difficult. Right now, when I go out, uh, there's where I work, there's clean restrooms. Some of them are you got to buy something, got to buy some chocolate for a dollar or something like that. Um, it's a really small piece of chocolate. But, you know, use my credit card, you got to use a credit card. And that way they keep their restrooms clean from homeless people because most homeless people don't have credit cards. Right? So you got to buy something and you can use the restroom. So, and it's a, the one I use is a very clean restaurant out of mine paying the dollar. I mean, other places like chicken places, uh, food chicken, fast food, you can buy a biscuit and for a dollar use their restroom, but it's like nasty. Um, so, anyway, but if, if I'm ever in that position again where I don't have um, water, a place to come to to dump my water and refill, then this will come in handy. Here you go. So what you got here is two gallons. This is what I used to take a bath with. I used to run it in my first van uh, layout where I had just threw things in there and I had my tub. I would just use two gallons of water. So every day I would go out and find two gallons of hot water. Now, I'm going to show you this first because this is ingenious. This little thing here, because what I found was when you go out to get water most uh, restrooms didn't have enough room to fit this thing into the sink so i only have certain places i can go so i came up with this let me take the top off here so what i do is i can put this in here like that and in this part here will go under the sink I might actually go in the restroom and do that. and So that would go under the sink and then get my water. Just regular PC, PVC pipe. In this, in this backpack, you gotta have your own toilet paper. You gotta have your own toilet seat. You gotta have a, a bottle of bleach. That's where I got to be on there. And alcohol. You want some gloves, usually you only need one, but you only have, you know, four or five in your backpack. Of course, and uh, did I say toilet paper? Well, you gotta say it at least twice, because it's toilet paper. So if I didn't, there you go, toilet paper. Maybe that's three times now. Now, the only thing missing from this kit is the wax paper that goes over the toilet seat that you get in restaurants and stuff like that, uh, public restrooms. I never ordered any because I end up, uh, my situation changed where I'm always in a, near a clean restroom however if i was out there more where i didn't have i know i was going to one or two specific spots and i was just randomly going to places i would go online and order some paper so i have my own paper now the toilet seat you wouldn't necessarily use unless it's just nasty so what you're going to do is this you go in there with your bleach you get your glove on so if you get a worst case scenario super super nasty um Oh, you know what? I just thought, would it be good? You should probably have in there. Hold on. Some paper towels. Yeah, forgot about that. Some paper towels. I would please don't leave it in a roll. Just peel some off and uh, pull some off and put it in there. Uh, because you have to go in a really nasty bathroom, pour some bleach on it, on the seat, and then get. if they don't have no paper in there, get your paper or, or have your glove on, get your paper towel, clean your toilet seat with the bleach, right? Um, now why I got the alcohol I don't really know alcohol would be more for maybe maybe going to wash your hands you could pour the bleach on or if you just don't want the bleach smell on your hands you could use the alcohol on the sink to, to turn the water on um, so but then after you clean your seat with the paper towel you put the wax paper on of course and you're good 
now so that really should be good you really shouldn't have to use your own seat unless it's just like you just even after you do all that you feel like you, you put the paper wax paper down and you still feel it's kind of nasty uh you just you know because you saw how much work you had to do you can put this down on top of the wax paper and then you can feel more comfortable that nothing's going to get through right so again let's recap so you, you you put your glove on you get your bleach you put your bleach on there you get your paper towel, you clean the seat, you put put down the wax paper, and then you put the seat on top if you feel really uncomfortable. All right? Now, and then you got your own toilet paper and you're good. And you put it all in the backpack. So when it, all this fits in the backpack, uh, you like I said, you wouldn't take this whole roller and you just pull some off and put it in the bag or something. And that's you're good. You go in and get your water, your hot water, you get two gallons of this a day, you keep rolling. I used to get two gallons of hot water. Unfortunately, it's hard to find hot water, so most of the time it came from the same uh, fast food place. They started to catch on to me, so I had to start buying burgers, you know. And so, but anyway, um, now um, here's the other thing I'm gonna say about this. I always see people with this toilet seat. Like, you can get a cheap seat at any hardware store for eh, nine bucks, less than nine bucks, and just all you gotta do is saw the top piece off there and uh, it's not hard you got a toilet seat and why did I bring that up because of course where is that bucket here where we go let's bring this out so you got your bucket right so obviously I've seen people put uh, foam things like you would put C around a swimming pool those little foam things or whatever they call them and they use and, and make a ram around there I really understand that because you know what I could just take that bucket and put an actual toilet seat on top and I feel like I'm at home and it fits perfectly so why are you gonna do all that extra work you know what I'm saying I don't know that's just just a thought just a thought that was a separate thought not really pertaining to the video so you know what I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna go in and show you how this water thing works all right people so what you do is you simply take this so you can throw sinks in the restrooms we've got this long thing and you simply so you turn your water on and there you go Okay, get this side too. Keep the hook in. Let's just look at the water so you can see the water in there. Right. Alright, people, so there you go. That's basically how it works. You can design your own, which is just uh, to name it after me, right? But uh, you could design your own version. You might come up with, uh, I'm sure there's people out there who come up with a better uh, version than I did. But it works. But it's just a, a way around when you go to public restrooms and they don't have uh, a really high one. Luckily, I found one restroom was old school, had that really deep sink. So I was able to put my gallon, two gallon bucket inside of it. But that was very rare, so I came up with that too. All right, so that's the, the pack that I came up with for using public restrooms. You do that, you should be okay. If, if it's so nasty that you don't want to use even use your stuff, that's just one of those restrooms you walk away from. If it's that bad, right, where you got to go on and brush it with a brush like you're a janitor, yeah, just find another one. But for every other restroom, mildly dirty, mildly nasty, the, my kid will work. Good luck to you.